So we're so excited to be back with you. Um, we're like right almost in the full moon zone, coming up on the full moon in Pisces. Um, I'm Emily, the Voluptuous Witch, and I'm here with Tatiana Tarot, as always. Hi, everybody. So excited to do one of these again, jumping back on board. Yes, we're so excited to be back with you. And there's a lot of really interesting, intense, and like kind of a real mix of astrology happening at the moment. So what we're looking at is, you know, the first thing, of course, we'll think about is the full moon. That's the night. It's a full moon in Pisces. It'll be exact at 3.03 a.m. EST. So, you know, when we have a full moon in Pisces, we have a Virgo sun. The sun and moon are always opposite. And so it's highlighting this Virgo-Pisces axis that is a lot about service, um, you know, service and love and a lot of the details, like really showing up in a very true and detailed and dedicated way. You know, Virgo is a lot about that. Um, and also about the sacred and, you know, Pisces is, is the last sign. So it's like, has a lot to do with oneness and merging. And this moon is conjunct Neptune and Neptune rules Pisces. Neptune's all about dreaming and magic and healing and musical frequencies, dance. Like it's a very, there's a, an ethereal, you know, quality, like of course the ocean, water. Um, it's kind of like hard to pin down Neptune in a way. So this is a very, very Neptunian moon. So we have a full moon in Pisces conjunct Neptune it's kind of like emo central, like it, like it's a pretty emo moon in a sense. If you can sleep during the full moon, I would pay really close attention to your dreams. Um, Neptune brings a lot of dream messages, um, can be very magical, can be very healing. Also a time like for your spell work and for like really kind of putting that magical intention toward what you've been realizing during this mercury retrograde that you want to shift and so that's the you know the coinciding thing that's happening is that Mer mercury has just stationed direct yay <laughs> yay <laughs> Woo! so we're out we're out of the retrograde um i always suggest not immediately rushing into some of the things like signing contracts and things like that, just because the days around the station can be a little bit funky, but we feel the difference. Like for sure, we feel the emergence from that time. Um, and because this is all in Virgo, it's like, there's a real desire to like get our shit together right now. Like we can all feel it. Like it's like the fall energy, Mercury direct, that's kind of the the vibe right now and mars just went into virgo which amplifies that it's like putting our energy and action and intention toward the details so i would say that's really what this week is about is like anything that came up during the retrograde that's maybe not in alignment if like you're realizing I'm not sleeping enough or haven't been eating well enough or i'm not you know things that need to happen to more you know fully um, to help your machine run better, you know, not that we're machines, but to have, <laughs> to have the, <laughs> the quality, I, I have a spray bottle for my dog when I need yeah, to. Yeah, he can't be on the baby stuff, that's not cool. <laughs> totally. I know, it's like, and then once you start letting it happen, it's impossible, to, it's like, it can't, it can't stop, it's like every time. And he takes advantage, he's like, oh, I know mommy's in a video, <laughs> I can do whatever I want. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the so the details, the details, health, wellness. Like this is a really good time to take care of our health, our daily routine, um, all these things that like when we really attend to them and we kind of make our whole life a spell and we really you know infuse that quality of like really intentional actions around our daily what we do daily um mm -hmm. we can really elevate our life and so now my dog's moving around um, <laughs> <laughs> she's like let me get it on this so we we can really elevate the quality of our life and so that's what's happening you know, the full moon illuminates right so we're seeing more a lot of feelings um the day of the station, Mercury, you know, can communication can still be like a little funky. So this is, uh, there's somewhat of a, um, 
like getting right with ourselves before we like run off into all the communications we might have been putting off during Mercury retrograde. It's like, wait a couple of days, <laughs> let the energy settle, you know, then things like that, contracts, big purchases can back, get back to all of that in a few days. How many days should we be waiting per se, like three? Yeah, I think of it as three. Um, it's, that's certainly not actually like a super exact number. It's just kind of a, you know, a sense of like, like I avoid def definitely at least like the day of the station. So like today or like the day of the station retrograde, um, just because I feel like that's more wild card, like really cool, awesome things can come through, but like messages, information, um, but it's like a little bit more of a wild card. So it'd probably be okay with like two days, but. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just be on the safe side, you know. <laughs> There's always like a shadow period, so it's like, oh. <laughs> yes, the shadow period. So we'll be out of the shadow at the beginning of October. I'm pretty sure that's. Oh, wow. So that's way longer than I thought. Okay. Um, I think that that's true. I don't actually have the, my ephemeris right in front of me to like double check. That's what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure that's true. And we'll be back with you again before that. So if oh, it's totally. slightly different. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe it's not the shadow. Maybe that's when Mars goes into Libra. Anyway, I, well, I'll tell you next week. <laughs> Regardless, guys, use your discernment. You'll know in your gut, hey, is it cool or is it not Gucci for me to proceed? But it's just good to know, giving you a heads up. <laughs> yes, definitely. So I think we can um, kind of... I don't know, what are you feeling? Like you kind of want to focus on the, the energy of the moon or like this? Who you know, now talking about all this Neptune energy, mm. it's gotten me really stoked because I love it when we have all this psychic, intuitive woo-woo going on around us. Yes. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, I, I, uh, I did ask Spirit, like what guidance do we most need at this time? You know, I have so many decks that I seldom use. I usually just stick to the Rider Waite. But I feel like this time around, yeah, we can definitely pull out a Rider Waite. But they told me animal, animal spirit, animal guides. Um, I have this profound animal medicine card deck. So I want to start with a medicine card deck, see what particular animal spirit is guiding us during this time or what message it is. It, <laughs> it conveys, I don't know why my cat's going crazy. <laughs> energy. <laughs> my dog is moving around too. She's like very active and she's usually likes to be sleepy when I'm on like doing sessions and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like he's yeah. been looking all over the place. Like, I'm, you know, what are you looking at? Like, do you hear it? It's like, what's going on? He usually passed out in front of my laptop, pushing it towards me. <laughs> Taking all the space in the desk. <laughs> anyway. Spirit, what is it that we most need to know? <laughs> During this time, what animals... Oh, okay, that one fell out. That one fell out right on cue. So I'm going to go in with that. Which animal can best guide us? I feel like we need to pull out another one. Bam. Cool. Awesome. So for this, I don't have these cards memorized because they're pretty intense as they are. So let me just look up the definition. All right. Makes complete sense with what's going on. Okay. So we're getting number 37 in the deck, the antelope. And this is corresponding to what, you know, animal spirit can best guide us during this time, what medicine they have to offer us during this full moon, okay? And so the message is action. When time was just beginning and the tribe of man was small, antelope saw that the two-legged were naked, hungry, and in danger of extinction. The ancestors would soon vanish from Mother Earth if action were not taken. The antelope took action and came into camp, calling all the two-legged together for counsel. Great mystery sent me to teach you a lesson, and the lesson is to do. You have no need to be fearful if you know what to do, and then you do it, Antelope said. 
And what shall we do, asked the people. If you are naked and cold, you should kill me and take my coat to keep you warm. It is my gift to you. Do it. We will, said the people, but what of our hunger? We are starving. What can we do to save ourselves? If you are hungry, you should kill me and take my flesh, for it will nourish you and make you strong. It is my gift to you and a part of my evolution. It is my service. Do it. Antelope knew that humankind would survive the Ice Age if people learned to eat meat. Before the movement of the Great Ice Mountains, fruits and vegetables had been plentiful, and the two legs... Two legged had had no need to eat of the bodies of their fellow creatures. The clans of the second world ate antelope. Taking the instinct and wisdom of the four legged into their bodies, the people learned through each creature's essence how to survive. They were taught never to waste or to take more than needed. When they were in need, the two legged knew how to take action. Humans learned the antelope's lesson well. Because of antelope, Humans took proper action and survived to this present day. Antelopes taught humans to honor the gifts sent from great mystery and to avoid indiscriminate destruction of life. Antelope signifies knowledgeable action. Antelope is a symbol for the antenna of your hair, which attaches you to the great mysteries by its cords, by its long cords of life. Looking at antelope, you have become aware of your mortality in the short time span you have on this planet. With this in mind, you must act accordingly. Proper action pleases the great mystery. Antelope medicine is the knowledge of life's circle. Knowing of death, antelope can truly live. Action is the key and essence of living. Antelope's powers have been courted and shamanized since the dawn of time. Antelope's clans have been many, and the power of antelope people is great. Antelope medicine gives you strength of mind and heart, and the ability to take quick and decisive action to get things accomplished. If you feel blocked, call upon antelope's medicine. If you are balled up and twisted in knots, antelope's powers will speak to you of proper action and soon will set you free. Many indigenous solutions to problems are whispered by antelope. Listen and even more importantly, act. Surround yourself with the illumination and secret knowledge of antelope. Combine this with action and you will overcome any obstacles or hindrance in your path. Mm -hmm. If antelope is your centering tree and strong personal medicine, thank great spirit. Say what should be said, your judgment is sound and your actions will be successful. Always listen to what antelope has to say to you. Antelope in your cards indicates a message of higher purpose. Antelope arms you with the bow of authority and forces you to act on behalf of self, family, clan, nation, and finally Mother Earth. Antelope says, do it now. Do not wait any longer. Antelope knows the way and so do you. Take courage and leap. Your sense of timing is perfect. When the antelope has bounded into your cards, the time is now. The power is you. Aww. That's intense. Wow. In lieu of everything that's going on right now. Yeah. My heart was just like, like, I, wow. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, that was so in alignment with now is the time. Everyone really feels like they do need to get their life in order. On a micro and, and, and macro scale too, you know? Yeah, definitely. I know. And it's been, I mean, I feel like caring for the earth, like knowing that, you know, our earth is in a, such a critical period. It really, it's such a unique time we're in. It's almost like hard to process like what to do or what is, is next. But I feel like that medicine was just like really speaking to you know really speaking to that like us as stewards of the earth and and other people vulnerable people you know um it's so relevant <laughs> most definitely and yeah. then for us that are not necessarily aware of what to do next i feel like it really applies to this neptune energy and the full moon which is going to illuminate okay well you know if you've been out of the loop because spirit will actually let you know in dream form or other you know subtle energies how to leap next mm. and 
your evolution and I guess uh, the evolution of all of us collectively is contingent on whether or not you will take action on that message. Yes. Um, yeah. So the last card pulls, sorry, that was a little bit long, but this one's way shorter, <laughs> is the weasel, believe it or not. Ooh. And the weasel, I never know what to expect from these cards. I don't know, you know, they have such indigenous background knowledge and I'm like what is this what does the weasel have to tell me <laughs> the weasel's about stealth okay mm. um weasel has an incredible amount of energy and ingen ingenuity yet it is a difficult power totem to have it is not without significance that ermine or mine or weasel pelt is worn by royalty weasel ears hear what is really being said this is a great ability. Weasel eyes see behind the surface of a situation to know the many ramifications of an event. This too is a rare gift. Mm -hmm. The chief sends Weasel to the enemy camp to smoke them for power. What are the medicines of the enemy? The chief asks Weasel upon its return. Weasel never failed to give an accurate, accurate amount, account excuse me, of the enemy's numbers, strengths, and weaknesses. It was Weasel who tearfully told the original people of the coming of the White Bolt people. These brothers have strange new medicines, said Weasel. They will tell us that to live the way we do is wrong. They will confuse us with their talking bark. They have stolen thunder from Sky Father and placed it in their weapons. They have no respect for the animal brothers and sisters, and they make their thunder speak to the animals and kill them. They will make the thunder speak to us as well. Their numbers are too many to count, and these white brothers will steal everything from us but our spirits. The great dark shadow of the ravenous bird of death has fallen over the people. Weasel fur changes color with the season. Silent Weasel has many lessons to teach you. Weasel could confound Great Spirit, pick Great Spirit's pockets, and then leave Great Spirit's contemplating the divine navel. If this is your personal message, your powers of observation are very keen at this time. You seem to be saying, leave me, leave me alone and I will do the same to you. You might even look a bit guilty at times due to what you know from observing life. You may be a loner, hiding yourself away from others or perhaps a recluse. You are a powerful ally to have in any business organization since you can see what the competition is doing behind the scenes. People may make a great mistake in sizing you up since they do not immediately see your powers. But the first time they try to outsmart you, they will soon learn that your intelligence is greater than their own. Look to Weasel's power to tell you the hidden reasons behind anything. Very Neptune. Some people are put off by Weasel's medicine, talents, and abilities, but there are no bad medicines. We all have power or we would not be here to heal Mother Earth. Perhaps if you have Weasel's power at this time, you can use your secret gifts for the good of all. Observe who or what needs attention or a solution and offer your assistance in your own quiet or discreet way. And so it is. So it is. Weasel, weasel, weasel. Interesting. Okay. And on a tarot note, it's very, what is it that we most need to be mindful of this, at this time? What will best be an advantage for us? Cool. And what is a blockage that we most likely will not be able to see, but which should be made known to us at this time? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So what do we need to know <clears throat> that will be an advantage of, uh, to us is the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is really amazing. We're talking about long-term establishments, long-term manifestations. Ten mm -hmm. of Pentacles is kind of telling us that in retrospect, everything will be okay. Everything is going to be fine. Everything will be in its divine place. But it is talking about 
the actions that we are creating now and what they will necessarily manifest in the long term. So we want to be focusing on long term, um, long term results excuse me, long-term results, um, what essentially we ultimately uh, want to create for ourselves, what we want to create for those around us. It is a card of community. It is a card of collective work, um, teamwork. What are your best assets and your skill sets? What do you have to not only benefit you, but have to benefit, you know, your loved ones and strangers around you, what you can do to sustain um, all this wealth. It is a card of wealth. It is a card of well-being and prosperity. Absolutely, it does talk about pentacles being the tangible, being the physical, that being material goods and sometimes financial goods. But we're talking about wealth in the holistic sense, spiritually and emotionally and mentally, mm. and you know how we can give that to create more. Um, it, it, it may be a great time to harmonize, to really work in collective groups, to mm. um, you know find your tribe, or a great time for healing in that sense. Um, Ten of Pentacles, I do see this as having your work hard work pay off, but not necessarily thinking of instant gratification, mm -hmm. uh, really focusing on, like I said, long-term results and, and aiming for something above and beyond that exceeds your expectations. Now, what we don't see, um, what can be blocking us is being represented by the justice card, which is, I guess, bringing to light certain injustices that are happening around us karma that has not found any closure so on a personal level this can represent habits cyclical patterns things that sustain themselves that um, we have not really come to terms with or maybe we are mindful of or we're just turning a, a blind eye to we're not going to actively um, take any part in resolving it or healing that um, aspect of ourselves Justice mm -hmm. usually deals with legality and, and, you know, fairness and balance. And so what aspects of yourself is still yet to attain that? Now, mm -hmm. on a global scale, we want to be kind of well-informed of what's going on um, because that is going to directly impact us in some way, um, whether that be energetically or whether it be through the laws that are passed or that are not passed. Um, justice is still saying that that is a potential blockage that we should be mindful of. But most importantly, um, when I see this card, he is kind of yielding a sword up to the sky and he has these scales over here. Swords represent the mental realm, um, how well we are able to strategize, how well we are able to uh, logically come up with a plan and, and be using our mental uh, faculties on, in a balanced way. And also the scales do represent the emotions. How well are we emotionally balanced? How well are we emotionally practical? Um, this has to be married. So it can't just be logic, logic, logic in one aspect or just emotion, woo, woo, woo in that, in that aspect. This can come up as a blockage if they're not working in tandem, if we don't have that community teamwork aspect here as well as this. So, you know, these cards are kind of playing off of each other just to bear in mind for these energies that are so potent, but yet so dreamy. We don't want to be too lofty that we're not making practical change with the time and the portal that we have now. So stay grounded yet, you know, be ethereal, you know, <laughs> there's that kind of fine line walking a tight the tightrope so to speak so really interesting messages here with the animals in the tarot definitely that that really makes a lot of sense and it's interesting as you were you know describing i was reminded of something i didn't say which is that this mercury stationing direct um it's happening at the eclipse point oh. um <laughs> <laughs> It's happening in the eclipse point and Mercury and Mars were together at the eclipse point. Um, and then now Mars has moved on to Vir into Virgo as we talked about. Um, but Mercury is stationing direct onto the eclipse point. So there's been this energy, this very active energy at that exact same point where the eclipse is. And then 
that's interacting with um, with Uranus in a trine. And so there's like, it's there's a very innovative, you know, Uranus is a planet of innovation, of breakthroughs, and the eclipse also is its own type of breakthrough energy. Um, and so that point is being emphasized. And so there is a karmic, you know, there is a sense of something like another piece of the the chain of what is coming from the eclipse kind of like re locking in playing. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Go yeah. cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there is like a, and it makes a lot of sense because this is like a long term um you know it's not ushering in a new energy just for like a week or a month or like it has that long term like a, the sense of a new era that is somewhat long term um kind of like what you're speaking to in the ten of pentacles so yeah it's really interesting there's a lot of we have there's a lot of energy to access um you know to, that we have access to and i think that is really good advice to really ground into what we can actually do so that we get to use it yeah harness some of it um you think this is a good time i guess now that mercury is kind of direct and we yeah. have all this insight coming in from the full moon and in 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 pisces and then the, the the essence from neptune you think it's a good time to kind of now start planning for 2018 or you know getting that divine insight and just being like okay long-term um commitment what do i want by the end of and when i was actually referencing the ten of pentacles i was kind of referencing a little bit longer than a year but yeah that could still be applicable like you kind of foreseeing things that you want to create next year and the messages that spirit's telling you in regards to that or in general you know i think absolutely i think that's definitely true sweet yeah because what no, I just said sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think, well, I think also because, um, I forgot what I was going to say, I think. I, but what was it? Oh, just that things were, were very volatile um, for a while, even if not in the sense of necessarily negative, but just a lot of, um, like, very active and transitional, like, not stable energy, you know? the eclipse, the retrograde. And so we're really in a moment now where like, like those types of times reveal a lot to us, but we can't necessarily act on it right away. And that can be frustrating because we're sort of just like, maybe feel like we're kind of just dodging what's coming at us. We're not like, you know, choosing and planning. Um, so this does really feel like a moment where it's like, okay, you've seen a bunch of, <laughs> you, you have a lot of information now, probably some things have changed, been clarified. And now it's like, okay based on what you know, what we know and can see now, you know, like, what are we going to do? Amazing. Ugh. <laughs> so much, I feel. But it's an exciting time. It's, it should be a very positive um, astrological influence, so to speak, right? Definitely. Yeah. I think we have, you know, we have a lot that is in our favor um, in terms of being able to take action and take more targeted action, you know, to have greater clarity. And, you know, that, that always, you know, that makes a huge difference. Like the clarity of our intention, mm -hmm. um, that, mm -hmm. you know, makes such a huge difference. So I think that will be really powerful. And it was so good to hear those, like with such helpful messages. It's really helpful. So thank you so much. Oh, anytime. I was also thinking like, because I seldom partake in it unless I'm giving readings. I'm like, wow, what a ideal time to really start diving in deeper into your astrology practice or into your tarot practice. Yes. Working with your crystals, like you mentioned, ritual work during this time. Mm -hmm. But now that we have all these um, you know, spiritual influences, I bet you you're like, the portal is just wide open for you to really just get that insight on whatever it is you need. So it's like, yeah, let me take advantage and play craft in my house, <laughs> you know, and yes. just see what's up. Yeah. So great. I'm very stoked. Definitely. 
Um, and, you know, for sure, of course, as always, like stay in touch. Um, you can you can follow me at The Voluptuous Witch on Instagram. Um, my website is the same, thevoluptuouswitch.com. I'll have some horoscopes up later um, by sign. And we can, you know, that kind of sheds a little more light and what else oh and also just on a kind of side note um on my instagram bio if you follow that link i also included a link there that is a fundry that's a fundraiser for um some of the people raising funds who need to renew their daca um you know status and paperwork and so if you have been wanting to contribute to a fundraiser like that or you have if you haven't known what to do that link is there um and that's one possible avenue you know to support um you know kind of in this like really vulnerable time of all this crazy news that we're having and where can we find you tatiana um yeah so you can find me on myurbanillumination.com under the work with me tab if you want to book for a session um, to follow up on your daily tarot uh, meditations and tarot scopes that will be po posted soon. You can follow me on my social media pages, um, Instagram, Tatiana Tarot, it's Tatiana with two N's, or I never know what the hell to look at, <laughs> Twitter, um, at Tatiana Tarot as well. So hit us up, let us know how this video resonates with you. Yes. Um, like, subscribe, share, please mm -hmm. absolutely donate. I actually um, texted, texted the bot <laughs> and donated that we way. Did, yeah. <laughs> they give you an option. Um, so I think it's, it's you text the number 540 and then 09, you text resist, and then they prompt you with uh, ways that you can donate and, and contact your state representatives yes. to, to protest. Um, but have patience with the bot because I think he's a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I got that too. I got the bot with like the exploding head, like, which is good that too many people are texting, but yeah, yeah. I got that too. <laughs> Sweet. So, um, we guys, we will see you guys next yes. week. Thank you so much for tuning in all the love and happy manifesting. Yes. I love. Happy full moon. Happy full moon. Ciao. <laughs>